hey guys welcome again i'm so excited about this journey i'm going to travel around so many counties let's just say i'm going around around kenya so it will be a journey that will take two weeks and uh, i think we'll be on the road most of the time it is the longest lo road trip i've ever made i've ever done before and i'm with my part of the fan team who could make it so i have my cameraman and this lady down and you can see I'm hey, eating. The, <laughs> she's, she's already started eating and the the car is so full we literally bought everything i'm telling you we even have spoons here <laughs> so guys i'll be showing you so many counties just come along with me i'm excited i've never been this excited i've planned for this journey for a long time every time i postpone it every time i postpone it and the way by the way thank you so much for those who gave me suggestions on where to go on instagram i asked about that so i'll go to several of those places that you guys mentioned and i hope you will accompany me so guys if you've never subscribed to my channel welcome to live kenya and here we are family and we love having fun so guys let's go let's go i'm just getting some fuel here i'll ensure that the tank is full i'm scared and i'm excited imagine driving all the way i could go to the farthest north and i'll have so many breaks along the road at some point i'll get some assistance in driving at some point i'll use some other means of transport but for the longest time for the longest distance i'll be driving please join me in this series Bye bye Mombasa. <laughs> I'm excited. Now we are at Kibarani already. And you can see the bridge is coming up. We are somewhere in the middle of nowhere but very close to Voy. We decided to take a break just to stretch my legs and her legs <laughs> and my hair. <laughs> ah! Anyways, we are taking very nice photos of the hills and those electricity ports. There's just something about it. There's something about that view. I've been meaning to take this photo but all the time it is either I mean uh, some public transport or I'm in SGR. But now that I can stop and take photos, by all means, I'm going to take so many of them. So this is the look of the day. Even 
my smile is part of the look. <laughs> we took a break for like 10 minutes when we were taking photos. Every car that was passing by, they were just hooting, even others were stopping. Is everything okay? And all that. Kenyan drivers, you are the best. You are just so kind. I, I, I didn't expect that, but eh, I'm just touched that you cannot let a sister or a brother get stuck or stranded on the road. Kudos to that. Oceans. I don't know if it is two oceans or eleven oceans. It is somewhere just within Boy Town. Best chicken ever. Free range chicken, naturals, anytime. I'm so sorry I did not show you the food. I'm telling you, Akinja <laughs> wewe. I just discovered after I finished eating that I did not record. On the highway headed to our Airbnb and just look at this view this is just breathtaking this hill is just oh did I mention the sunset in boy ah! just check that out we checked into our Airbnb in Voy and it's very decent I didn't expect that we'll get a BNB in Voy but Guess what? We are here. So I enjoyed the journey from Mombasa to Voi. I've actually done a tour of Voi town. Kindly check the video if I have already posted. If I haven't, it's coming very soon. That, that hill, it, I'm told it's called Sagala Hill. People usually go there for hiking. There are so many nice hotels in that direction. So if you come, you might explore that. Tomorrow, we'll be waking up very early in the morning. We've been given tips by our host. He's a very nice gentleman. I will leave his link below here so that so that you guys, whenever you're in Voy, you can just check, check out his place. He has very nice ideas about places to visit. He has given us some tips on places to go around Taita Taveta in addition to what we already had in mind. So, just stay tuned. As you explore, you explore. You know you know the drill. So guys, let me uh, give you a brief tour of our BNB. It actually surprised me. So when you come in, there is this. I just have to show you this before I tell you how much this place costs. There is a washing machine. If you are traveling and you have plenty of laundry, washing machine and it's actually free but i think it's free for now by the time you come here to if it will be charged i don't know but it's free and there is this extra bed this house can accommodate up to four people but the host says that if you if you are up to 10 people he has extra property so you just you just inquire and there's this sofa it's a very decent sofa and then very fast wi-fi netflix even though we won't be watching much of Netflix today, we are playing games. So, there's also this dining area. Guys, you're going to be playing this today. Monopoly. Even though it looks like Monopoly for kids, but I can see it's for family. <laughs> we'll be selling property alone. So we have the fridge. We've already put some stuff here. And we're going to buy some more. You can cook for yourself. Of course, it's an Airbnb self-catering. Tissue, towel, duvet, 
you know you know how it is so there's extra space here and it's it's in a very quiet place and then it is this hallway to the toilet come back home so guys you can see it is a very decent place and guess how much this place costs it's 20 28 and 30 and 33 dollars yes it's between 28 and 33 dollars but because we were among the first actually we are the second group to be hosted here there was an offer and we paid only 2700 kenyan shillings so imagine 2700 kenyan shillings for how many people three people it's like we paid 900 shillings per person Imagine. Very friendly. Very, very friendly. We literally camp here for a week. Yeah. And explore way to the fullest. Actually. Oh, I forgot to mention there is some safe place for parking your car if you have come with a car. So, consider this place whenever you come to go. It's a very pocket friendly place for such a decent space. So, guys, I think we'll play the games and then we'll see you tomorrow. So guys, stay tuned for more content on my road trip to Northern Kenya. I stopped by so many counties and found out so many hidden gems. Please follow me on Instagram to find out which gems I'm talking about. And this is part one of so many videos coming through. So stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe. Hit that notification bell and comment below. Don't forget to like the video. Until the next one. Bye.